Hi, I'm Dominic and I'm here today to show you how to set up the Actor Interaction plugin. First things first, let's open the Epic Games Launcher and install the plugin to your engine. If you cannot find it, you can always search for it. Currently on the versions 4.25 26 and 27 are supported. However, we plan to support version 5 point onwards once Unreal Engine 5 is released. Okay, installation is done. Let's open the project and install the plugin into the project. So, once you are here, the AIP requires two things to work. First one is input binding. As you can see, I've created a simple movement and input actions, and I will link for those in the description below. The second thing that AIP requires to work is much harder, and that is creativity. I'm using Unreal Bucket library, which is here, and it's an amazing plugin that I definitely recommend for everybody to use. The uh, link will be in the description. So I'm using this plugin uh, to get some nice assets that I can work with. I will start with the player character. This is the active actor who is looking for other actors to interact with. For that reason, I will assign him interactor component. The enter the component serves as the searching unit, depending on the settings that we'll take a look in a moment. Now, before everything else is done, input binding must be created. Without this step, no interaction progress will be possible. Let's search for the input interaction and drag and drop the interactor component and call on interaction key pressed and bind this delegate to the pressed function from the interaction. Let's do the very same thing but with released. As you can see there is the time key pressed input and we need to uh, pass down the word time in seconds when this action happened. We can search for get time seconds and plug those values into those functions and compile. Now we got the player character set up correctly and it's ready to be played with. Time to set up the other actors which we want to interact with. Those actors need the second component, the interactable component. This one serves the purpose of being used in some way. And here comes the creativity. AIP, the actor interaction plugin, does not dictate nor force you to do things in any way. Once interaction progress is done, it is just up to you what must be done. You can deactivate the interaction, you can spawn particles, you can open inventory. The sky is the limit and it is just up to you to utilize the plugin the best possible way. So let's open the banker lamp I got from Unreal Bucket. Okay, here we are in the Blueprint Editor. Now let's add the interactable component and it's quite simple, just type interactable. Compile and it's mostly done. Once the component is here, we are just a few steps away from the finish line. Let's quickly open the viewport window. As you can see, uh, here is a collision box spawned Now you can see the interactable component comes with a collision box. This collision box is the collision shape the interactor is searching against, whether it is by active looking or just by overlapping it. 
By the way, these details will be explained later on. These axis widget, you can see here, uh, define where the interaction widget will spawn and will be displayed. So let me move it a bit higher. So yeah, this should work just fine. Now the collision box has changed its position. And this position does not represent the shape of the lamp at all. Fortunately, there is an easy fix for that. Under settings, under interaction collision, here is the local transform and local extent of this box collision. So let me quickly change the view mode and slightly adjust this box collision so it represents the lamp more precisely. As you can see, there is a lot of freedom, so you can make this box collision shape fit your requirements quite precisely. Yeah, I like this collision box quite a lot. It represents the shape of the lamp and it looks just okay. So, this is by default all you need to do to set up the extra interaction plugin to work correctly. A few steps for sure but all easy and fast. Before we are done, there is one more additional thing that must be done to make everything work properly. And that's the outline material that you have seen in the demo. To make this work, you need to go to Place Actors, search for Post Process Volume, drag and drop to a level, go to Details, search for Bounds, make this post-process volume infinite extent. If you're using other post-process volume, you don't have to drag and drop this one. You can use that one you already have in your level. So let's search for post-process materials that are located here. And let's add a new array row, choose a set reference. And in here, if you allow engine content, you will find extra interaction plugin content, materials, in a post process outline, and use the material instance outline in here. This material instance will basically create a white outline around the object that you have selected. Okay, now all you need to do is go to the blueprint we have created place it somewhere in the level and hit play. As you can see, we have made it work. You might have noticed that two things are not working quite well. The interaction widget shows some default values that makes no sense and that, well, nothing really happened after interaction has finished. So what to do to fix those issues? It is actually quite simple both routes from the interactable component. So let's open the lamp and take a look. In the details panel, if we select the actor interactable, there are some settings that you can play with. The default texts are hidden within the interaction tab, section, texts. And as you can see, there are three parameters that you can change. The interactable name, is uh, name of the object. In this case, it's a lamp. So let's rename it to lamp. Interaction action is basically what action you should do to make the interaction progress. And the interaction key is what interaction key you should be well, pressing or holding or basically what interaction key uh, provides the action that you mentioned here above. The interaction widget reads those three values and displays those in, well, basically in the interaction widget. So this time, if we compile and, well, let me quickly change the UI to example two, which displays those values much better. Uh, if we hit play this time, and if we search for the lamp, which is located here, 
you can see there is an E lamp and hold. So this time we can see what actually we are working with. But as you can see, you know, the interaction well still does nothing. So let's fix this as well. Uh, this part uh, has something to do with the creativity. So let's go to the event graph, select actor interactable, and scroll down in the details panel when you see on interaction completed. And add this event to your, okay, here it is. Add this event to your graph. As you can see, uh, this event does nothing right now. So nothing is actually happening. Uh, I can print string, compile, play, and if I manage to find the lamp and I finish the interaction, you can see that the hello has printed. So this is the moment, this is the place where the creativity can shine. Because I've chosen a bank lamp, I think it makes sense to affect the light after the interaction is completed. So let me quickly grab the light toggle, invert it, and call the toggle light function with inverted value. So after the interaction is completed, this function should be called and everything should be working quite nice. So let's take a look what happens now. And as you can see, the lamp has turned off. It's a very simple example for sure, but you can see that I can repeat the process and right now I turned it on. So this is this is where the magic happens. This is the this is the part where you can be creative. This is the part where you can make all happen according to your decisions and according to your likings. Well, one thing that I forgot to mention is that if you choose the actor interactable and get back to the UI section, there is a few examples that I've created for you and you can choose from them. Uh, let's choose number three and see how it looks like. And as you can see, this looks, I think it, it is more fitting to the style of the lamp. Uh, I will guide you through uh, this widgets uh, a bit later, so don't worry if you don't know what's going on right now. So right now you have everything you need to make AIP to work in your game. You know how to set up the interactor component in your player. You know how to set up the interactable component for those interactable assets placed in the world. You know how to set the post-process volume to highlight the asset. And you know how to use the interactable components even on interaction has finished. So I believe that you can utilize the plugin in a very creative way. And I'm really happy to see the results.